by the 1270s, the Kingdom of Hungary was in chaos following the decline of royal authority after the reign of King Balafor. His death in 1270 left the throne to his son Stephen V, whose rule was immediately contested by powerful magnate families, particularly the Kaseji and Gutkald clans, who wanted to control the young heir, Prince Ladislaus IV, the Cumin, Duke Bela of Maxo, being both a cousin of Ladislaus IV and a seasoned military leader with strong Rurikid ties, posed a real threat to the ambitions of these barons. He represented a potential alternative claimant or at least a rival center of power capable of restoring royal authority and curbing magnate influence. The Kazagis, led by Henrik Kaseji, viewed Bela as the greatest obstacle to their control of the kingdom. Under the guise of a council meeting meant to discuss the regency and stabilize the realm, they invited Bela to Margaret Island, near Buda. Once he arrived, unarmed and trusting the royal summons, he was ambushed and murdered by Kaseji's men in cold blood. Duke Bela of Maxo was no ordinary noble. His blood united three of medieval Europe's greatest dynasties. The son of Princess Anna of Hungary and Rostislav Mihailovich, Bela carried the legacy of the Arpids, the ruling house of medieval Hungary, the Byzantine emperors, through his maternal ancestors, and the Rurikids, founders of Kievan Rus. When excavations in 1915 uncovered a young noble's remains showing signs of violent death, historians suspected they had found Bela himself. Modern genomic analysis confirmed it. The DNA revealed a man of mixed Arpid, Rurikid, and Byzantine descent, linking together Central and Eastern Europe's royal bloodlines in one remarkable individual. For this video, I have gathered the raw genome of Duke Bela. I ran his raw DNA through my tools such as Trait Predictor and BetaCalc, and Harvard tools like Edmixtols 1 and 2. According to a Mesolithic Kbatum run, Bela had significant Anatolian farmer admixture at 48%. His share of Caucasus and Iranian Neolithic ancestry was typical for Bacchanites. His eastern hunter-gatherer and western hunter-gatherer ancestry was low, indicating a southern European origin. He also carried 5% Neo-Siberian ancestry, indicating partial Magyar origin. According to a Bronze Age model, Bela had around a quarter-step ancestry and a lot of excess Iranian Neolithic farmer ancestry, a pattern often observed in the Balkans. According to this model, he is 8% Neo-Siberian. Here's a late Bronze Age model I made with Admixtols 2. According to it, over half of Bella's ancestry traces to Paleo-Balkan peoples, with 33.8% Anetis, 10.4% Bronze Age Balt, and 4.7% Neo-Siberian admixture. This model suggests that Bella didn't have much Slavic ancestry, certainly not more than 25%. It does also suggest that Bella had a sizable portion of Celtic or Germanic ancestry, evident by the inflated Anetis. FST analysis of Bela shows the populations he matches most closely are Bulgarians, Turks, Greeks, Czechs, and Hungarians, all Southeast European populations. With Trait Predictor, he was predicted to have dark hazel eyes, dark brown hair, white skin tone, curly hair, and a Greek nose shape. He was predicted to be a worrier, lactose intolerant, to have intermediate D2 receptor density, intermediate odds of autism, average empathy, average cardiovascular risk, higher odds of epithelial cancer, lower risk of autoimmune disease, intermediate homocysteine levels, low odds of obesity, and either blood type O or A. He carried rare risk variants for blue-yellow color blindness, bipolar disorder, Gilbert syndrome, APAP liver toxicity, glaucoma, and protection from HIV. With beta-calc, he scored particularly high for odds of bipolar disorder type 1, unipolar depression, esophageal cancer, lung cancer, mental disorders, prostate cancer, schizophrenia, and stroke. He scored low for odds of alcoholism, anxiety disorder, autism, breast cancer, coronary artery disease, dermatitis, heart attack, Parkinson's disease, skin cancer, and type 1 diabetes. You can purchase his genome in 23andMe format from the link in the description of the video. There you will also find links to buy my products and services.